taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Hi, you taste buddies, it's the Taste Buds Podcast. I am Joe. I am Salvatore. Today's battle, peanut butter and jelly versus grilled cheese. Holy cow, this is one of the ones that I think are two indestructible forces going up against each other. I honestly don't know who is the front runner coming into this. Do you? Uh, no. I, I, I'm I very curious to see how this is going to go because... People, I'm, I'm, hold on. First of all, it's out. It's out. You dropped it. It's out. All right. it dropped it Poll like it was hot. Poll is on Twitter. Like it was hot. People are starting to vote. I... <laughs> These are two childhood classics. These are two these are two sandwiches. This is why we do this podcast. Yeah. These are two sandwiches that like this is like on a random Tuesday, you go to the supermarket and go, I want to eat this for dinner tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna have three grilled cheese sandwiches for dinner tonight. I've had grilled cheese and peanut butter yeah. and jelly or, for breakfast. I've had them for lunch. Yeah. I've had them for dinner. I've exactly. had them for snacks. Exactly. I love them. Yeah. I love both of them. Yeah. I'm going to pick a side, but I love both, and I contest that most people do love both. They're, they're, they were favorites in childhood. They're favorites today. They are, I mean, people live and die on a peanut butter and jelly hill or a grilled cheese hill. Yes. They will die on the sword on that hill. And, and I have one of these on the Joey Rose's menu, and it's not the one I'm arguing for. Ooh, a little Hinsky. Yeah, but uh, I will tell you, I believe wholeheartedly in the one I'm arguing for. <laughs> As do I. And I will eventually bring this to the menu. But right now, I also believe in the one I'm arguing against. But damn it. I mean, right there, it looks so good. So does yours. Oh, Oh, that looks good. I know that just a soft, All right. spongy. Bone. Here's what we're doing. Guess right now, I am going peanut butter and jelly, baby. Yes. It's peanut butter jelly time. Yeah. I'm going grilled cheese. <sighs> Uh, do you want to kick things off? Sure. Go ahead. <sighs> Instead of trashing the grilled cheese, which I think it's a great sandwich, I, I almost can't trash it. I can tell you why I like peanut butter and jelly more. I'm going to just start off with the positives of peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, because, and before you even do that, I was going to ask you, because this, this, this one was your idea. Yeah. What made you even think of this? Because these are the only two sandwiches that I could think of that can go up against each other. I thought... At first, it, the first thing that came to me was, who's fighting peanut butter and jelly? Because to me, that's my favorite sandwich of all time. I love, I told you, I love three things. I love cereal, peanut butter and jelly, and ravioli. I'm a simple man. I am a simple man. And if I could, if, if, there was, if health was no consequence, I would eat cereal in the morning, peanut butter and jelly at lunch, ravioli or some type of thing like that at, at dinner you every day. You would have a meatless day. Yeah. Pizza you throw in there. Those are the four things I would eat really? until I croak. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I, this is something serious. When I was younger, I was a picky eater. And I really gave my mom a hard time. And the only thing besides peanut butter and jelly that I would eat, believe it or not, was like ham and cheese or like bologna and cheese or just like just ham, just can bologna. We, can just we cheese. pivot for a second? Yes. Bologna, white American, yellow mustard, white bread. I'm there all day. As a kid, I'm you there. grew up on that stuff, I'll do right? It. I didn't That's eat mustard another as a one kid. That I did it with mayo. I'll do it straight up. Oh, I'll also do that same exact sandwich with, instead of mustard, mayo and tomato all day. Yeah. I'll do that for dinner. But I will tell you, if I had to break it down, I, mean, I would say 70-30, but I only ate two, <laughs> I only ate two sandwiches right. from grades K through eight. I, I'm not even, I, get, I'm, I will get my mom on the horn right now. We had a, I mean, it was a thing. I had to break this woman because she's like, you can't have this every day. And I was like, oh no. And I went on just a hunger strike and I would come home. I would come home every day with my brown bag with the exact same meal. If it wasn't one of those things, I was like, I, I refuse. And I might've even, I might've even gotten in trouble. I might've even taken I mean, like a I would have, slap on the ass, something I don't remember. I was going to say, I would like to smack you across the room. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the yeah. audacity. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I would do and And I broke the woman. I broke her down. You broke and, her down. And then my mom okay. gave me peanut butter and jelly every day for like, I'm not kidding you, for nine years. Okay. I, I just, you know, I have a, an affinity to this sandwich. I have never heard someone, except unless you have a peanut allergy I, I and you are, you're adverse, you're peanut adverse. I've never heard someone not say that this is on the level of pizza for them. Peanut butter and jelly is comfort. It's sweet. It's salty. It's good any time. It's good on toast. Now- 
before we get too heavy into the debate, let's do a little history. Okay. Let's I want to see that. when did when did the P it says right here the PB and J became popular with children with the advent of sliced bread in the 1920s. Now hold on a second. This is what bugs me about some of these facts we get. This is saying sliced bread was invented in the 1920s. We've had other debates today that claim sandwiches existed before that, right? Sandwiches? No. This is soup, sliced bread. Soup, salad. No, no, no. Wait, wait. 1928. There we go. Okay, oh, I'll so say another thing. Go back. Just, just sliced bread came out in 1928. Rats been around 66 million years. Yeah. Uh, okay, peanut butter, first peanut butter, 1901, the first peanut butter and jelly sandwich recipe appeared in the Boston Cooking School magazine of wow, culinary Boston science. Boston claims PBJ? And domestic economics written by Julia Davis. Well, they didn't have sliced bread. What the hell were they putting it on? Uh, since World War II, both peanut butter and jelly have been found on U.S. soldiers' military rations oh, list. If that's, not a, it's, if that's not a vote for PBJ, I don't know what is. Okay, give us a little grilled cheese history, pimp. In France... The cro croquet, yeah. monsieur, toasted bread, cheese, and ham. Oh, you're talking my language. Was first on menus in 1910. So kind of same thing. Grilled cheese sandwiches became part of everyday menu in the United States in the early 1900s. People have seen the first reference to a melted cheese sandwich as early as 1902 in Sarah Tyson Royer's Mrs. Something or Other. The Cheese Dream. An open-faced grilled cheese sandwich. I never heard of that. Popular in ninety in the U.S. during the Great Depression. Okay, so we're we're we're, we're pretty neck and neck here with history. <laughs> grilled cheese is is earlier, but what I still can't wrap my head around here is that they're claiming these sandwiches popped up before the twenties, and they're saying they didn't have sliced bread before the twenties. What the hell were they making let's, grilled let's cheese? Let's not on? even get caught up there. All right, fine. Now I okay yeah. now. Here we go. You explain it. why you picked well, the debate. I, I, you kinda we cut me did off. the history. You, you kind of cut me off, but it's okay. Oh, wait, I cut you off? Well, I was kind of, I was in the middle of a to Well, I was saying, let's do a little history because, I, no, I, no, because no, no, a podcast needs order. I agree with you. A podcast needs order. I agree with you. And no offense, you're all over the place sometimes, and you need to be reeled in. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's just me. <laughs> yeah. You, you got it. Sure. <laughs> I, 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 we said... We thought of peanut butter and jelly. This is how we think of the episodes, right? We're like, if it's in regular conversation, we thought of peanut butter and jelly. And I said, well, well who the hell can beat a peanut butter and jelly? And we kept it there in our, in our shared notes on our phone. Right. Until one day, we said, what about the grilled cheese? That's an iconic sandwich that people love. And did everybody has their own little like, oh, you haven't had my grilled cheese. Did you so, say it or did I add grilled cheese? I don't remember, but I, 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 I agree it's a worthy it. adversary because yeah. grilled cheese is unbelievable, right? So here's the thing, okay? Peanut butter and jelly, I was touching on this. Um, I can have it truly for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a snack. I love that I get both sweet and salty, savory and salty out of it. I love it as a triple decker. Savory and sweet, you mean? Uh, sorry, savory and sweet. Mm -hmm. I love it as a triple decker. I love my favorite sandwich in the world is peanut butter and jelly on toast. Now, you can't, once you take the heat and the toast out of the grilled cheese, that becomes white bread with two slices of cheese. So you can't even. My point, peanut butter and jelly is good cold or toasted, whereas grilled cheese is just a toasted sandwich. And when you toast peanut butter and jelly, it becomes a different experience because the peanut butter, a melty peanut butter that starts to get the swirl of jelly in it is just heavenly. And, and, and also, I also enjoy jam. And I, and I feel that jam and jelly are synonymous, but jam is, I like the spreadability of jam over jelly. Right. Jelly, I feel, is a little so, more... Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Is everything okay? I'm listening to you. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'll take. What do you want me to do? Cartwheels around the room? No, but you, 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 you had umbrage with something. I was saying, huh? You took. Umbrage. No, I was. I was going to say something, and then you were still, still talking. Okay. So I stopped talking. Well, he just bought up a, a, an uncrust, or is it crustable or an uncrustable? What's it called? Big fan. A big fan. Of the I'm a huge fan it, of Uncrustable. Oh, it's Uncrustable because there's no crust. Yeah. Yeah. So, look, I like it on, I, I love your standard. Here's what I'm saying. The peanut butter and jelly can be made a thousand ways to Sunday. I think that even in the simplest iteration, white bread, let's call it 
Skippy peanut butter, Welch's grape, jelly or jam. Right there, you almost can't even beat a variation of it. Although the variations are amazing if you're putting it on just fresh baked bread or a bagel or uh, anything. And if you're getting these gourmet peanut butters, shout out Saratoga peanut butter. God bless them. We love them. We're gonna do, they're going to do a thing with our Saratoga. And you know what's so funny? This is the food podcast, and we haven't mentioned Saratoga yet. But shout out Saratoga peanut butter. God, it's just a place that I found, a uh, peanut butter I found at a Christmas market that I've been eating ever since, and I've turned on to 100 people. The flavors are unbelievable. It's low in carbs and sugar they're not a sponsor all right I, I, i'm sorry i have to i have to shout them out well they're not a sponsor but now we're gonna we're gonna join saratoga peanut butter and make a flavor specially for us and a portion will go to charity uh and just what the help, hell are you talking a small about local business <laughs> i'm talking about what i just said i know it sounds Wait, crazy you're gonna do this well hey babe but you know what it really oh, could be hey, a no babe. press situation well, how about we talk about our podcast no 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 but sarah you're talking about what hey babe is doing this right is now a, this is a satellite no 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 i'm talking about saratoga it's a satellite of peanut butter the peanut butter conversation i'd say i take a straight skippy but peanut butter and jelly it's it's unbelievable i don't understand anything you just said you, you mentioned <laughs> charity at some point a Ch Christmas market? Yes. Who is doing... <laughs> What is going on right now? I'm sorry. Sidebar, Saratoga Peanut Butter is a small company run by a lovely woman that I found at a Christmas market years I, I, ago that, that, that I, I got. become a, 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 a customer okay. of. And you're going to- I passed it along to people and I talked okay. about it. Th when they got wind of it. Okay. And now we're going to collaborate. Who's we? Uh, well, it's, hey, babe, but honestly, no press, really. It could- get, yeah, we should do a no press situation where we do a taste buds and a hey babe flavor instead of a Christmas well, salad. You know, I'm so That's right. I'm so sorry. I hope that I don't We're need for taste buds you in. to crash the party here. <laughs> so no, sorry. Honestly, this is taste buds. Saratoga belongs here more than anything. Okay, it just said, we, you have talked for so long at this point. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll, it be is right with you. I'll be right with you. Outrageous. I'll be right with you. It is outrageous. No, but I'm talking, clarifying my points. You don't just let me go. I I've thought this was going to be a friendly you. one. It's, I'm and, getting uh, amped. Why would it be? I'm getting amped. I'm getting. Why would be friendly? I'm you getting have the, you have let the me, cajones let to go throw against the, PB&J? Let me throw... Oh, okay. You don't even need to say okay. the name of the sandwich. You could say the acronym. You let can't me throw say, the oh, I, I'm in the mood for a GC. People don't say, oh, you're in the mood for a grilled cheese. They think you're in the mood for a general contract. Yeah, and listen, and listen. PB&J, it's only one thing. It's the peanut, if the you, butter, and the jelly. If you don't get... When I when I say a GC, if you don't get what I'm talking about and you can beep this, you're a dumb shit. Okay, first of all. Okay? Yeah, in yeah. fact, you can beep this. You're a dumb what? All right, so wow, that's first off out yeah. of the gate. Yeah. Now I'll tell you this right now: PB and J. There's one iteration, and it is one of my favorite sandwiches of all time. Yeah. One of my favorite. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I got Hold on. So much. Hold on. I have so much as the young kids do. Talking to the mic. <laughs> yeah. Talking to the mic. That's yeah. what it's there no, for. No, I was shouting, so I didn't want to shout into the mic. The uh, okay. Uh, PB and J. White bread, peanut butter, grape jelly. Potato chips on it or on the side. That's it. That's it. I don't want to see strawberry jelly on it. I don't want to see. Shh. I'm talking now. I'm talking now. It's my turn. I have the floor. I don't want to see a peach jelly on it. I don't want to see a jam. I don't want to see a boysenberry. Preserve. I want to see grape jelly. Sure. I'm talking whatever. smucker style. Yeah, whatever you like. That's the versatility of the pb and I'm talking peanut butter and I'm talking of a white bread in its base, whether it's a roll or a white bread in, in, in its true form or whatever. But that's it for me. That's how I like it. That's how I want it. However, a grilled cheese. I mean, let's get it started here. American, go, white go ahead, or yellow. Go ahead, black eyed peas. Get it started. Go ahead. American, white or yellow. Provolone. Swiss, cheddar, Munster. Name and forget about just it. Just name cheese. Forget about it. Well, yeah, that's how it works. Right. That's how grilled cheese works. Okay? You get the butter. Do you want salted butter? Do you want regular butter? Who knows? Are you putting bacon on it? Are you putting ham on it? Are you putting tomato on no, it? No, no, Are no, you no, putting no, no, turkey no, no. on no, it? No, 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 Joe, Joe, Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let yeah, me yeah, just yeah, stop yeah. you right now. The, the, it's peanut butter and jelly versus grilled cheese. The original grilled original cheese had ham on it, it said. Oh, get the... When it was invented 
invented with ham on it. Oh, it was invented with ham on it. that's a ham and cheese sandwich. Don't go back to 1910 and go, but the original, we're talking about a grilled cheese. There's a reason we bring the history into this. What do you think when you think grilled cheese? You think cheese melted on two slices of bread, griddled. Okay. Fine. You, you, you turn around, pick, you go, you, you can put ham and turkey on it. Now you got a ham and turkey and cheese well, sandwich. You, so let me get this straight. You can switch up jellies and jams, and I can't can switch up what I put on my grilled cheese? No, you can switch up to cheese, but you can't add turkey and ham. Yes, that I can. That becomes not a grilled, it's a grilled cheese. grilled ham and you cheese. You stupid bastard. Go okay. to the invention you know, of the grilled who, who cheese. Is this guy? Go to the what invention of the grilled cheese. Oh Go God. back Joe, to the invention Joe, of the grilled cheese. You know Look, Joe, right there. Joe. Toasted bread, cheese, and ham. That's how it was invented. By Monsieur Croquet in yeah. 1910, you dick. Yeah, that's how it was <laughs> you, invented. You, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> You're red. The, the, the grilled cheese. You're, you, you can argue You're the, the color of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> you, can argue, you can argue the grilled cheese. The grilled cheese is good enough to argue it on its own. Why are you bringing ham and turkey into this? You're ruining your whole I'm argument. I'm just talking. I'm Listen not. To me. Just the way you said you got this cheese, you got that cheese, you got so that cheese. So can I put pickles That's on it? That's what you do with the jelly. Can I put pickles on it? <laughs> you. Can I put pickles on no. it? No. On the side? No. A nice pickle. asshole. <laughs> You're a stupid, dumb asshole. <laughs> you stupid. Asshole. You can, you can. You make no sense. It's maddening. <laughs> you, you, you name different cheeses. I, then you tell me I can right, name different fine. jellies. You name peanut butter fine. and jelly. I said the word jelly. Jelly <laughs> means whatever jelly All right, you want to put on it. I name different cheeses. You name different jellies. Uh, I'm going to name peanut butter and jelly and add turkey. I 1910. Will, <laughs> what's your croquet? I will tell you this. I will, t- I will tell you this. You got to you gotta, man. you gotta stay on the mic. Do you understand how the microphones work? Do you understand? God, you know, grilled cheese. You know what I love about it? Turkey. <laughs> no, it's a grilled cheese. Melt the fuck. Listen choose to any me. cheese. All you right, want. already. All right. Listen to me. Listen to me. You could. Ch- I, I, I'll stick with the change up of the cheeses. Okay. A 2002 survey showed the average American. We'll have you, you, 1,500 no, 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 no. of these peanut butter and jelly stick sandwich to, before graduating stick to, from high school. And if you think that's a lot, the average kid eats 1,500 peanut butter and jellies before high school. Do you think you that's a lot? Do you want me to I argue to the them. grilled cheese or not? Do you want me to argue it? Yeah, I, I would argue love it. it. I'll take the yeah, ham. Thanks for showing I'll up. I'll take the ham off the table. Even though every other argument you make, he, he brings the right, incarnation you know, you, into you it. Know what, you know what? A grilled cheese is also, it's probably also called a crepe. You dope. <laughs> I got several texts about crepes. Several. Your crepe argument was several. your crepe argument was one, of, well, was one of the low points of several. 2020. Oh shit, you! You. According to a recent study sh- conducted by YouGov.com, grilled cheese is the most popular sandwich in, in the, the country. country. I'm saying, what's better though? Now, what's most popular? From a representative sample of 1,223 people, the staple comfort food won the heart to 79 percent of people. Uh, all right, look, we're gonna go That's right back. That's actually from 2019. We're gonna that go gives right, you the edge. We're gonna go right. Yeah, no shit, it gives me the edge. Buddy, you know we're what? We're going to go right Pick back. the cheese. Let you me melt fi- the cheese. Let me finish. Let me say it. Can I say it? Or do you want to scream and dance no, some God, more? Tell me how you want to add ham and turkey. No, your I'm openings, taking it off the table. Yeah, you're, I'm you talking opened, you a straight up grilled cheese. You couldn't okay, even defend grilled cheese. You I'm defending it. it. I'm defending it. But you know what you, you, you did. White you bread. You know you did. White your bread. opening statement, you brought ham and turkey Oh, my God. Have some balls. Oh, my God. I only brought it up because of how it was invented. You take a grilled cheese, you take a grilled cheese on sourdough, okay? It is it is immaculate. You take a grilled cheese on white bread, it is immaculate, okay? The butter soaking into the bread, the crispiness, okay? It is so good, it is so good that that style of bread is brought into other sandwiches. That technique is brought into other sandwiches. Now, I won't argue those sandwiches, but that style of almost a French toast surrounding the cheese is used in other sandwiches. You can't say that about peanut butter and jelly. The best thing you can say about peanut butter and jelly is they also put it on crackers. That's it. Okay? You know what? You could take a long walk right now, okay? Just like you could change any bread for the grilled cheese, you could put peanut butter and jelly on any bread. My point is... Do you ever have a... You ever had a you ever had a peanut butter and jelly on pumpernickel? You'll blow your brains out. You'll no, blow I'll, your I'll brains put, out. I'll put anything Do you ever have a peanut butter and jelly on a on a coarse 
uh, a seeded uh, rye. You you don't yes, like it. Yes, yes you don't I like it. I love rye. And you're I have nuts. I, have you're peanut, nuts. My, I love rye hand too. To God, you're I nuts. Have peanut butter and jelly on rye all the time. Hands to God. You're nuts. Stop hands to God. It. Stop it. Okay. Here's the thing about. Hey, Sal, what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to quit. Trying to quit Siggy's? I'm trying to wean myself off. I wish there was a nicotine alternative, Joe. I got news for you. You know, Lucy, not a person, a nicotine alternative. Lozenges and gum that you can chew to get you off of that nasty habit. What? Tell me more. Well, I'll tell you something. These products yeah. were invented by Caltech scientists. California technician scientists. Yes. And actual ex-smokers. Yeah. And these were made for who? People. People. Not patients. Not patients. I, 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 this, we're this close. And quite I frankly, I've sentence. got no patience for people. <laughs> That's exactly right. Which is why yeah. I like this product. Yeah. So, so it's convenient. It's discreet. It's delivered right to your door. That's another thing I like. Because what just happened was you're a smoker. Okay, and I'm pushing you. We're going to try Lucy, and I'm going to have you try Lucy, and we're going to see how this fares for you. Yeah. But you just told me, oh, my God, I'm, you just said this. You said, I'm out of smokes. That's right. Sh sh do you mind if we take a ride to the store just That's so you right. can buy smokes? Right, but and like most cigarette smokers, I don't like to move at all. That's right. So we called a Sedentary. friend. Sedentary. We called a friend yes. who we will be seeing later and said, can you just bring cigarettes to me? Yeah, but with Lucy, uh, that's not happening with Lucy. <laughs> that's not happening. Lucy's They're delivering Lucy to your door every month. your friend that's going to deliver it without, <laughs> you don't right. got to bring a third party into this. No, throw, it's 2021. Throw the vape away. Throw away your cigarettes. You stink. It's You smoke. You choke. You cough. It's just gross, man. This just is the, pop a stick of gum in your mouth. This is the real deal. And in the past... Uh, now, I'm not a heavy, heavy smoker, but in the past, I have tried to wean off completely with the use of, like, a pharmacy brand nicotine gum or whatever. I hadn't had much luck, uh, and I will say this. Lucy is the real deal. It's a subscription that comes, as we said, directly to your door, and look, here's the thing. You got nothing to lose, What's and here's why. You, you go to lucy.co, lucy.co. You're going to use the promo code TASTEBUDS. You're going to get 20% off all products, including gums or lozenges. Guys... 20% and gals. Sorry. You know what? 20% off. 50% off. That's not true. And you 60. Can't, you can't back that up. It's only going to be 20. I'm sorry. 20%. That's it. I mean. Do you understand? 99%. You don't understand how marketing works. You're not supposed to retract the discount. How about this? The disc 200% off. <laughs> Order Lucy. I'll send it to you with 10 bucks. I'll tell you what. 20% off the product, a product that's going to give you 60% off the, <laughs> the shortcomings of smoking? <laughs> How about that? Look, you know what's coming up. You are our listeners, and you get the special code. Uh, Lucy.co, use the promo code TASTEBUDS. You get 20% off. That's Lucy.co, not com. Uh, promo code TASTEBUDS at checkout. The product contains nicotine uh, derived from tobacco, and nicotine is an addictive chemical. Yes, we, have we need to, to say that. Yeah, we have to give that disclaimer, but it doesn't mean that this is not a healthier alternative to, for you than smoking. So give it a shot. They've got a lot of great flavors. That's it. We hope you enjoy it. We hope it helps you out. We believe it will. It's 20%. I couldn't do anything. I tried. Always has to get the last word. Always has to get the last word. It's 20%. Sally, babe. Hey! This is it. Oh, we got, this is how, how nice this is. Joey Roses, a.k.a. Joe DeRose's Sandwich Shop, has brought a platter of sandwiches. Yes. A platter of sandwiches for us to eat and taste. And now, because of the nature of quarantine, I have not been down to the shop. This is going to be my first bite. This is it. This of is a your Joey Rose's start. Sandwich. This is your first one. Now, I've plugged the sandwich pop-up many times. We're at the stand in NYC in Union Square uh, every week. Always follow the Instagram at Joey Rose's Hard Eight. I'm glad that during COVID too, you bit it and then put it right down on top of a plate of clean sandwiches. <laughs> Jesus Christ! We're at the stand in Union Square every week. Where's this bread from? We make it. What? We make it. We make it in house. You can tell. We make it in house. Man, it's quality stuff. Eight sandwiches for eight bucks a piece. You can't beat it. These are cheaper than going to Subway, and it's ten times mm. the quality. So, I mean, come on down, enjoy us. I'm not kidding around. This is del absolutely delicious. Like Thank home you. run quality ingredients. 
They fill you better. They taste better. They are better. Joey Roses, we do quality better. That's right. Sandwiches, elevate it. A brand based around phallus talk. Put it in your mouth. Hey, buddy, what do you say? What do you say, Sal? What do you say? Nothing. I'm glad we got together tonight to Zoom each other because we couldn't get together in person. I just wish I could hear you a little better. My onboard uh, speakers are terrible. You're on. What are you doing using onboard? Come on. You, you, don't, you, you don't got 87 pairs of headphones around the house? No, I don't have any. I'm actually looking for any. Can you recommend any? Sal, I think I can. You These had them in your right hand? Raycon, just by chance. <laughs> wow. These are Raycon wireless earbuds. These were sent to me by Raycon, the company, which is Ray J, the uh, musician's company. Uh, and I oh, got to tell you, these are amazing. These are an amazing, affordable way to listen to whatever it is you want to listen to, whether you're catching up on podcasts, maybe taste buds. Uh, maybe you're binging an audio book, which I often do. Uh, maybe you're powering through your workout, which I never do. So I don't know if you know right. that about me. <laughs> but the, the Raycons are great. They make all the difference. There's no dangling wires. Uh, in fact, the only reason I'm not using them right now is because when I record from home, the microphone I use requires hardwired earbuds, which is Joe, annoying. Joe, don't worry about that. I need to know one thing and one thing only. Do they break the bank? No, no. And that's what, that's the best part. And I, and honestly, honestly, it's, right. it's, they're kind of given the, the earbud game, the high quality earbud game, I should say, a run for its money because they've made these things incredibly affordable. They're built to perform anywhere, anytime. Uh, they've got water and sweat resistant construction uh, and your Bluetooth pairs quickly and seamlessly. And that is for real, man. Like I've been using oh. these this week. As soon as I hooked it up, my iPhone recognized it right away the way it does with the Apple brand ones, which are yeah. significantly more expensive. Uh, you've got battery life for about six hours of playtime. So, oh, I mean, and, oh, oh, also the best part, the best part, the best part. And this is kind of what I've been alluding to the great sound that they are offering. They're making it accessible to everyone because they're starting at half the price of other premium audio brands. So do you want to get yourself a pair? I do, and I think right now Raycon is offering 15% off all their products for our listeners. And here's all you got to do is you go to buyraycon.com slash taste buds, and that's it. You'll get 15% off that's your it. entire Raycon order. Uh, you feel free to grab a pair and a spare, they're telling us. It's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash taste buds, buyraycon.com slash taste buds. And before we sign off, I just want to go uh, back to one thing you said, the easy connectivity with Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. because I tell you, that's one of my main things. Bluetooth never connects when it's supposed to. And I was considering writing Bluetooth a stern letter. <laughs> but now with Raycons, if it's that easy, maybe it'll spare me having to deal with the corporate bigwigs at Bluetooth. Well, and I have tried, and this is, this is for real. Like I have tried to use other non-Apple brand earbuds or AirPods or whatever you want to call them with my iPhone. And it never works because the phone won't connect with it properly. It doesn't recognize whatever. These Raycons are the first type ever that were not only affordable, but seamlessly connected. That that's the I'm real sold. deal. I'm like it's, getting a it's pair. worth it just I'm for sold. that. Yeah. I'm sold. I'm getting a pair. And if you out there, you're listening and you're having the same issues we're talking to you, you might as well just get 15% off. Go to buyraycon.com slash taste buds. Sal, let's take a break and talk about one of our new sponsors, Keeps. Keeps. They're helping men uh, that are having a certain problem, which I, a lot of my friends are having this now. Did you know that two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35? I wouldn't have believed that if you had told me that when I was 30. And now that I'm 40, you for me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can tell you that that's true. <laughs> In that's dog true. years, you're like thousands of years old, I think. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's I have I have quite a few friends who are between the ages of 35 and let's say 44 uh, who are experiencing hair loss and are trying to figure out ways to not necessarily reverse it, but stop it in its tracks. And, and Keeps and, does that. Keeps, Keeps can stop it from falling yeah. down and, and prevent it. You're right. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from man, male pattern baldness. Now, I am not one of those. I was lucky. But my legs are completely bald. 
which is odd. And that's true. <laughs> but Keeps is not going to help with that. Keeps is no. up top here. It helps you keep right here. That's basically it, right? I mean, I mean, I have noticed waking up in the mornings now, maybe a couple extra strands on my pillow. I don't know if that's an indicator of bad times ahead. Not that going bald is bad, but if your preference is not to go bald, it's bad. And that's the people who are going to want to be interested in keeps. And if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com, keeps.com slash taste buds to receive your first month of treatment for free. Some, sometimes with these deals, you get percentages off. This is the first month free, okay? Right. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash taste buds to get your first month free. Joe, what is it? It's Keeps. That's the product. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash taste buds. And they're going to offer you convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months so you don't have to leave home. Sounds pretty good to me. Low cost, treatment start at just $10 per month. Again, sounds pretty good to me. Keith Keeps also offers generic versions, which will save you some cash. Sounds good to me a third time. Discreet packaging, proven results. Keeps has more than... Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is key, and treatment can take four to six months to keep that hair in. So act fast. Again, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash taste buds. A, a grilled cheese, okay? It's good, but it's the same taste, right? I'm biting into it. It's great. Honestly, by the end of a grilled cheese, honestly, and what? I don't want to say peanut cheese. butter and ch- jelly is a plethora of taste. Dip no, it, no. I dip no, a grilled cheese no. in mustard. It, 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 it's all about taste buds. It, 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 I'll dip a grilled cheese in it mustard. It wakes up the taste buds. You know what else I'll do with a grilled cheese? My senses come alive. You know what else I'll do with a sweet and savory? You know what else I'll dip a grilled cheese in? You know what else I'll dip a grilled cheese in? Fig jam. Fig jam. So you're bringing in a component of my sandwich no. over to the grilled cheese? Because I hate fig jam on peanut butter, but I'll dip some. I'll dip a grilled Where cheese in it. Where does fig jam fit into this argument? Because it's a great thing to dip your grilled cheese into. I'm not I talking can't dip about my grilled what cheese. You could dip the it grilled gives you the great into. flavor. You get a gray grilled cheese. I'll do and the you grilled get, cheese. Stop bringing fig into it, Joe. I am. Stop bringing fig into it. I am. I'm saying you can dip it into things and it's great. I can dip my balls into fig sauce and it'll be great. <sighs> You can dip, don't tell me what you can dip it into. Tell all me right, about the all right, sandwich. Hold on, hold on. Let's regroup here. I already described why the sandwich is good. I already described it. My 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 versatility beef. is a big argument on this podcast, and you know that it is. I think peanut so, and jelly is more versatile than grilled cheese. You can't. It's all you're doing, right? If I tell you that I think grilled cheese with a fig jam is delicious with a certain type of cheese, or grilled Joe, cheese... stop with the fig stop. jam, Joe. No, stop. Stop. It's stop. cheese on bread melted, Joe, with butter. Stop with the jam. What? No. Don't take fig from me. That's like saying... put it to your that's sandwich. That's like saying... Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll make a peanut butter and jelly and I'll put a little Parmesan on it. You said... No. You, you said... Hold on a second. That's like saying, oh, you can't argue the cheeseburger because you can't, you can't say the ketchup is a nice addition to it. You can't do that. You can't do that that you can't do that and you know it peanut butter and jelly sandwiches may be a staple of childhood but its popularity is so endless that it's estimated that the average american will consume almost three thousand of them during the course of their life okay 356 days in a year that's quick math you're having a peanut butter and jelly almost every day for 10 years okay. like, that's the average person okay, okay? Here's what's what that got to do with what you got peanut butter you got smooth and creamy you got chunky you got honey roasted yeah okay you oh, got keep naming peanut flavors butters. like saratoga peanut butter. keep naming peanut okay? butters and jelly keep you naming peanut grape, butter you got strawberry keep naming you got jelly preserves. yeah we you get it you got to okay we get then it. you can switch up any once jelly. the peanut butter and the Let jelly are together on bread what are you doing with it they even sell peanut butter and jelly in a jar together already Okay, peanut, dude, dude, peanut butter and jelly is a brick shit house. Okay? What are it's, it's you doing with it once it's in the sandwich? That's what, what I'm mean? asking I'm you. I'm chewing it, swallowing it. I'm doing a little skip. I love it. I love it. I told you already I love it. But you can't tell me a grilled. I love a grilled cheese plain out of the pan. I love it when you because you can dip it in mustard. My taste buds I even are like dancing it. from the sweet and the savory. You're only getting savory with grilled cheese. You, It's delicious. But listen to me. Listen there me, are listen, grilled. Listen, listen, listen. I can only eat so much cheese and so much butter before I'm like, I've had enough. Sometimes when I have a grilled cheese, it's delicious. But by the time I'm at the last bite, I'm like, that did its thing. That was the purpose of it. I can't eat any more grilled cheese. Let me tell like you. Peanut butter and jelly, when I finish it, I'm like, do I make another peanut butter and jelly? Okay. Do I? Okay. So what's that got to do with anything? 
What do you mean? What's love what's got that to, gotta be with to do it? with I'm it? I'm telling you that I that that's when, like saying, when I eat, I, that's I'm like saying, you, oh, I, I can both. only eat so much prime rib. I'm telling you, I love <laughs> them much. both. I'm telling you, I love them both. But I could eat three peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to one grilled cheese. Americans eat approximately two point two billion grilled cheese sandwiches a year, according to a market research study. Now, I will tell you this, Sal. Let's 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 shift the argument a little bit. You know what exists for me, but doesn't exist for you? Grilled cheese restaurants. Grilled cheese restaurants. You're wrong. And when peanut you, butter and jelly restaurants And exist. when you walk in those restaurants, do you think that they are not having, hey, here's one with a fig jam. Here's one with a bacon on sure. it. Here's one with this. Here's one with that. Do you think they are not celebrating the versatility of grilled cheese? It's not mm. called a grilled ham and cheese. It's called a grilled cheese with ham. Yeah, but then I could say peanut butter and jelly with honey, peanut butter and jelly with banana, peanut butter and jelly say it. griddled. I'm all ears. Say it. Make the argument. I'm all ears. I'm listening. I'm listening. How much melted Ali, cheese? Ali, oxen free. <laughs> How much melted cheese and butter can you bite into? Let me tell you something right now. And this is all. Let's talk about this right here. You're gonna you're gonna bring in tomato soup. It, you, it, you mean the you mean the uh, staple? You mean the? I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> May God, Jesus, Lord, help me, please, Jesus. I Lord. don't understand why you're getting May so God, mad. May God, because you, 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 you. It's impossible to break rules because you don't abide by them. You will argue one thing, and in the next podcast, in the next episode, you will argue the opposite of that thing. How am I arguing the opposite? You, what does tomato soup have to do with the grilled cheese sandwich? Grilled cheese and a tomato soup is that's a that's a that's a staple but sandwich you say meal. Peanut butter and jelly with potato chips, milk. I'm not bringing all that other stuff in here. It's grilled cheese versus peanut butter and jelly, not tomato soup, not fig jam. Okay. So then what are we talking about here? Because you're saying you like this is my all sandwich, you need to know. and I'm saying I like your this sandwich. Is all you need to we know. have to expand here, or this there's is, no argument. This is all you need to know. This is all you, buddies, you need to know, okay? Joey Roses has a sandwich shop. He owns and runs and is the... Let me finish. Is the proprietor... Propri, 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 I'm having a stroke. Is the proprietor of a sandwich shop. Yes. It only has eight sandwiches. That's the whole concept. It's eight sandwiches... They're not overwhelming you. They're eight amazing sandwiches done right. He owns a sandwich shop. Peanut butter and jelly is one of his eight sandwiches. Yeah. Grilled cheese is not you know on why? the menu. Do you know why? Do because you know why? Peanut butter and jelly no. is a better sandwich. No. Oh, you made because a business, but you're not putting your best foot forward no, first. No, because I will tell you exactly why, my friend. Because we do cold sandwiches only, I have a menu coming out of eight hot sandwiches, and you better bet your now, goddamn bottom dollar point. that grilled cheese is on that. <laughs> and you know what's on that grilled cheese? Possibly a little bit of ham. You no problem, son you of can't, a because B. you can't stand behind the grilled cheese in its oh, most pure need, form. Oh, I don't because need, you don't have enough. Oh, I don't need to. I don't need. I, I don't need to put the ham on that. I'm putting it on it because it's just because I, I just know what I'm doing. I, I'll, I'll do it. With the, I'll do it without the without the ham any day of the week, and I'll stand by it all day long. I'll stand by it all day long. But you keep bringing tomato soup. You put ham, me in that fig. kitchen downstairs so, so far, with Joe, three cheeses and and bread and butter. I'm gonna make you a sandwich. It's gonna knock your socks off. I'm not saying that a grilled cheese sandwich butter is the best thing ever made in the world, right? But I'm saying I eat one grilled cheese and I'm like, I it's it's a okay. bit rich. It's a bit much. I, I I don't daydream of grilled cheese every day. I gotta be in the mood for a grilled cheese. Peanut butter and jelly. I'll have it every day, all day, every meal. It don't matter. Every meal. Do you do you hear what but you're I saying? But I can. I could eat it way more than grilled cheese. Uh, but Joe, we've been we've been talking for a few minutes, and you've brought tomato soup, fig spread, and ham and turkey I don't into your grilled Hold cheese argument. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. No, what I brought into it was I like that the grilled cheese can be dipped into many different dressings, and those dressings can each enhance the flavor of the grilled cheese. Yeah, but I could dip I a think peanut butter and jelly into something. You can't dip it into any. But my point is, you're you can't, arguing the grilled cheese, not what you could dip the grilled cheese into. I understand, but we argue. Do you? But we argue versatility, and you're saying it's just cheese on this, and I'm saying no, it's not. You, you it, again. I will make this point. If you argued the cheeseburger, you would not argue that it has to always just be the base of cheese, beef, and a roll. You wouldn't argue it like that. You would talk about. What ketchup does on a burger? How great that is! Some people like mayonnaise on their burger. You, you some people but like Joe, barbecue but Joe, sauce. All you those would talk things, about all those, those things, things are components of a cheeseburger. 
That's how versatile the cheeseburger is. Do you is. think these things are not components of a grilled Joe, cheese? we'll go back to my argument of pancakes and waffles. If, if you tell me, pick you up, if I, if I give you a, 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 a deli a piece of styrofoam with a sandwich and I say have that it's grilled cheese I didn't finish it and you open it up and it's tomato soup with a grilled cheese every with ham and turkey menu, and bread you'd be like what is this every diner menu under grilled cheese it says add bacon tomato turkey it gives you the options but, for an extra price that is in addition to what the grilled cheese is and you're arguing for a grilled cheese I'm bro. just saying I think a lot of people when arguing the grilled cheese would take into account that there are things you can put on it to dress it up okay. a bit okay that's fine. all I'm saying okay. I think that's very fair okay that's all okay that's all but that's like saying I could crunch up chips and put it on my sandwich I wouldn't argue that I have chips on my peanut butter and jelly sandwich that I serve in my sandwich shop pop-up there are chips on that how sandwich. delicious is it they are it's amazing, yeah. but there are ruffled potato <laughs> chips on that sandwich for a reason, because the peanut butter and jelly by itself is too plain and too straightforward. Something needs to dress it up a little well, bit. Well, if it's on a restaurant menu, I agree, but at home, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Why no, 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 Because you dream about the PB&J. You eat it three times But you, you can't have someone come into a store you feel like you can't just- Why not? You feel- Why not? If you're dreaming about it, why not? It's got to no, no, be good you, enough. You just said you can't just serve people peanut butter jelly. It's too plain. I'm, Maybe in a restaurant. You think I'm not doing that when I'm home? You think I'm not doing that when I'm home? You think I just Joe, I no longer know what we're talking about. Do you, I'm saying, do you think I just, do you think my, I, I'm saying, do you think it's on my menu just because I go, well, it's a restaurant, we got to dress. No, I go, no, I did this at home. Yeah, because This is what I do with my PB&J at home. Yeah, you know what else I said? When that sandwich went on the menu, and when people said, well, what about strawberry jam? What about this? What about that? I said, take a walk. It is grape jelly, sure. peanut butter, but and that's you it. You could choose any jelly you want, just like you could choose any cheese you want. Correct? Uh, yeah. No, okay, I, 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 can go I agree. So but I'm you, you tell me you I like have, a peanut butter and jelly with, uh, with a strawberry jelly I'm on it. I'm arguing the sandwich of peanut butter, any flavor and style, jelly, any flavor and style, on bread, any flavor and style. What's this say? Grilled cheese has a short lifespan until it's just a congealed mess. Agreed. Let's talk about a grilled cheese if you wait a few minutes. Let's talk about that. It oh, becomes oh. something otherworldly. Do you, you ever take a PB&J to school and the bread is purple by the time you get to lunchtime? I kind of like it. It's disgusting. Now nah, you're wrong. That's disgusting. Uh, even when it is good, I regret it afterwards. Save the cheese for the fries. PB&J is always good and satisfying. Even if you go to the lazy, uncrustable route, you can toast the bread or not. PB&J for the win. Everything I said. Okay. Said. Okay, great. Peanut butter That's jelly time. Oh, not oh, that I want to oh, get into that. one tweet agrees with you? Congrats. <sighs> there we go. I'm losing my voice. You're going batshit on this one. I've never seen you this worked up. Because, grilled cheese is like an orgasm in your mouth. It's not the grilled cheese. It's That's not what's going to be worked up. What's going to be worked up is the way that you dismantle the the, 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 the the fabric of the argument. What is the fabric of the argument? All I cheese said, is peanut butter and jelly. Hold on a second. You, you led with, I'm going to put ham and, ham and turkey on it. Okay, hold on a second. I didn't lead. I, all I said was, you can add turkey, you can add bacon, you can Softer add... Softer voices are nice. And you started screaming at the top of your lungs. We could play the tape. You were screaming as well. Oh, no, I was not screaming. <laughs> was I screaming, pimp? I think I was screaming over you. No, that is not true. Also, you talked for... 12 because you started at the top grinding of this my thing gears about uh, grinding gears you're plugging you're plugging hey babe ventures on this thing <laughs> what are you talking about i'm telling you it's going to become a taste buds venture too fine There's no I'm reason all for cherry it. let's but you start you went off on some kind of dizzy rant about how you're doing a cross promotion with a peanut butter startup that you found at a christmas fair i don't know what the hell you're talking about right now <laughs> Oh, Some lady that's making it in her house. She's selling it oh, out of God, jars. God. You, you, I don't know you, what you're you, talking you, about. You're not even arguing the grilled cheese based on taste. You keep going back to croquet monsieur. Listen, listen. All the only reason I is that the real little dicky? No, that's not little. No. The the only reason I brought ham and turkey into the mix at the top of this was because you were talking about how great bacon is in another episode. Okay, <laughs> and. We read the history of grilled cheese, and it said that the original had ham in it. And I thought, well, that's very interesting, because I often like to add a component to my grilled cheese, a tomato, a turkey. Is it not enough? A bacon. Cheese? 
To of course it's enough. enough. I just was trying to lead strong with you can add these other things. And that really, oh boy, did that set you off. Did that, that set you off. That because, set you so, off. Because I tell you, oh, I could eat an Oreo whole or split it in half. And you go, you can't change the Oreo. Yes. You have to change by breaking it in half. Yes. But then you're going, I can add turkey and ham Listen, and fig. And wanna, I mean, to my, like, you know what, you wanna, Joe? You, like, even you like, do to a the tally? listeners, you got to stay consistent. You want to do a tally of us, of who's contradicted themselves? Not saying I haven't contradicted oh, myself. Oh, exactly. I, okay, okay. Well, then I'm just saying. I'm just okay. saying. All right, well. All right, all right. All right. Maybe we're both flawed. Well, maybe we both are complicated. a little hot under the collar. Okay, okay. Right. maybe we're both complicated people. People. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Great. Mm. Where are we at time wise here, pimp? All right. Great. This one got hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Jesus. All right. Let's go to the, let's go to the tweets. Let's, let's it also is a little, it's a lot tougher to make a grilled cheese on the fly. I'm very lightheaded right now. I am too. We've had a few whiskeys. Yeah. We've screamed a lot. Mm. We've talked for hours mm -hmm. today. I know. I'm very lightheaded. All right. Yeah. All right. You must be because you keep repeating it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is like comparing <sighs> apples to submarines. Impossible to choose. Be I said that. That was going to be tough. I got to be honest. From every episode we've ever done, Ooh, ever, this one. I don't, I truly don't know. Like, this could be a trouncing. I don't know which way this is going to go. PB&J is a classic for sure, <laughs> but grilled cheese dipped in tomato soup. <laughs> becomes a dinner where PB&J is not. Too, too also, bad. instead not of butter cheese. on the bread, you need to lightly coat the outside with mayonnaise. <laughs> Make a soft and delicious grilled cheese. This is a monster talking to us right now. <laughs> get, the, get the F out with the craft single between white bread. PB&J options are damn near unlimited. You can grill that bad boy if for some reason room temperature is your deal breaker. Yes, Amy, I agree. Who the hell, ooh, ooh, I'm going to revel in this one, Michael Beast. Who the hell picks peanut butter over grilled cheese? I have to imagine it's Joe, who was always wrong. Hey, guess what, you lousy bastard. <laughs> grilled cheese is a hot mess that almost nobody knows how to make right. Good luck enjoying one on a hot day with grease all over your hands and mouth, you savages. PB and J all day. Uh, here's here's your favorite thing. Here's your favorite thing. No one ever says you're the grill to my cheese. People say you're the peanut butter to my jelly. Nobody says that either, lady. I got news for you. <laughs> when you think of dynamic duos, peanut butter and jelly are top tier picks. A great snack at breakfast, delicious with milk and coffee. It's a go-to. Grilled cheese is melted cheese on a bun. If I was poor, that's what I would eat. Okay, let me let me point out where that tweet falls apart completely. Grilled cheese, first of all, when you talk about dynamic duos, okay, fine. We're not talking about dynamic duos. We're talking about a sandwich, number one. Number two, grilled cheese is melted cheese on a bun. What kind of psycho <laughs> is making grilled cheese on a bun? That's He's second. Bread, number but... three, if, that's, if I was poor, that's what I eat. This is your fan base here. No, this is who supports no, you. No, no, no. This is, this is who is... He's supporting peanut butter and jelly. This is who is supporting your argument for PB&J, right. okay? This is the PB&J audience. I want you to see that. I've seen five PB and, six PB&Js in a row. All right. One more, and then we'll go to the, we'll go to the uh, 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 win. I'm pretty sure they make songs about peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's how good they are. They need not say more. Mic drop, drop. Oh, what about ratio? That's another important thing. People like some more peanut butter, less jelly, more jelly, less peanut butter. It's all up to your personal style and flair. Cheese, grilled cheese doesn't have that. I'm seeing a lot of the comments skewing peanut butter and jelly. Please tell me Sal as PB&J have disagreed with everything Joe has ever said thus far. <laughs> I'm going to nominate that. I'm going to nominate that for the win. I'm going to, yeah. Brendan Kavalit, Lucin, however the hell you say it. Follow Brendan at Brendan, which is B-R-E-N-D-A-N-K-O-V-A-L-C-I-N. I am, I am spent. I'm out. I got nothing. Oh, this is it. Oh. <laughs> Twelve thousand five hundred votes. That is huge. 
Grilled cheese wins 65.9% to 34.1%. I would have lost the farm on this bet. I didn't know where it would go, but I didn't I didn't think I didn't think we'd be lo- we'd lose by that much. Look at that. 12,500 wow. votes and the I'm people have spoken. I'm in shock. Team Joe DeRosa <laughs> has taken the trophy wow. tonight. Mm. Mm. I still love you, buddy. I love you, too. Don't be a sore loser. I love you, too. I laughed when I lost. I love you, too. Don't you be a sore loser. This is a tough one. Don't be a sore loser. I'm not. Don't be. You're being a sore loser right now. How am I being? Because you screamed your head off, and you're wrong. So just I'm not wrong. It's you're objective. Wrong. No. I still believe that. How you know, dare you? What do you How mean? How dare you? No, but Joe, I yelled at you because you have some set. Because you just, you just, you can't just change the rules. I didn't change the rules. All I said was the original. <laughs> I was going off the original recipe. All right, girl, cheese is one. I still love you. Buddy. I love you too. Uh, look, I at, do. Look no, at, no, no, no. Don't be sore. No, I totally love don't you. Don't be sore. I, I totally. I'm not. All sore. Right. I'm not sore. <laughs> but I, I can't believe this. Like, guys, I mean, at two. Brute. Yeah. Joe DeRosa got me on <laughs> Instagram and Twitter. I'm done. I'm At done. two buddy. I'm done. I'm going home. Uh, I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I need to rest. I okay. need to rest. Joe DeRosa got me on Instagram and Twitter. Check it out. Sal, uh, as you always say, thanks for following on us. Uh, yes. Leave a review. Subscribe. Hit the reminder bell button. You know <laughs> the reminder bell, yeah. yeah. Hit the like button. <laughs> All these things. If you guys are on community, text me, 718-260-6619. I have this app. I can see your text. I can't answer everybody, but I post things there first and foremost, and things that I don't post elsewhere, I post there. Uh, so join, and every once in a while, I'll get a text, and I try to answer a few, a, f- a handful a day. Uh, I don't know, man. Um, that's Sal uh, Volcano on socials. And, uh, <laughs> subscribe to the No Pressure Network, and... Uh, Thank you. This is th- thank you guys. We are building up a community here that we absolutely love, and I it's love it's it. the most interactive thing we do. And uh, we love seeing your comments. I love uh, it. Share. Tell somebody if you like it. Tell somebody. This episode is going to upset my mom. She she listens to the show. She gets upset at these. Mr. Ones. Rosa, I love you, son. I or love you. Like, I'm sorry. She asked after but, Doritos combo. She was like, "Are you guys okay with each other? I I'm very concerned. It's like you were going to hit each other at one point." Yeah. This got worse than that, I think. I have to get I have to get a bag of I got to get a bag of holes. You were purple. I know. You were red. I know. All right. Anyway, we got to go. <laughs> Bye. Taste buds. They come into the mic talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking taste buds. Taste buds. Taste buds. Taste buds. If you don't want your purse, they'll take your pay stubs. Taste buds.